Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's first question is Rhodophyta contains the same pigments as and you have to choose one of these answers. If you are not sure which answer to choose, take a look at this table. If you study evolution of plants, you have to learn by heart these basic pigments, primary pigments and accessory pigments that we can find in certain group of plants, terrestrial and aquatic plants. In green algae, we can find following pigments, which you can see in this picture. And primary would be chlorophyll A and B. And the same set of the photosynthetic pigments we can find, of course, in the land plants, which were derived from the green algae. And the first picture here stands for the blue-green algae. And we can find here chlorophyll A. And this is going to be primary pigment in the blue-green algae. And in brown algae, we can find chlorophyll A and C, which is different from both blue-green algae and green algae. Rhodophyta means red algae and this picture stands for the Rhodophyta. And it has the same pigments, uh, primary pigments and accessory pigments as, as you see, blue-green algae. So from this point of view, they are not different. And our answer is going to be answer B. Rhodophyta or red algae has the same primary and accessory pigments as blue-green algae. And the last statement, 90% of the taxa of the red algae have completely divided cells. Is it true or false? Take a look at this picture. Actually, what is typical for rhodophyte cells, 90% of cells do not completely divide. And this is what you see here, this called primary pit plug and open region eventually plugged with proteins. So this dark spot here represent proteins. Sometimes it's hard to say whether you're looking at red algae or brown algae. But if you can find primary pit plug, you can be sure that this is red algae. So as you see, this statement is false. 90% of the taxa in red algae have incompletely divided cells. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.